We need the divine protection of God. We need God to cover our families. We need God to cover our children. We need God to cover our homes. We need God to cover us as we drive. We need God to cover us as we sleep. I can't hear nobody talking. We need God's divine protection. And he promised us. He said, I tell you what I'll do. I know there are things that will happen. And there are things that will come that's just the nature. But he told them in Exodus 12. He says, I want to tell you something. Amen. There's going to be tonight. The deaf angel is going to rise. My God, I'm, I'm closing. Said so the deaf angel is going to rise. And said everyone that, uh, there, that's there, the firstborn and those that are there, I want you to know that the angel is going to be riding tonight. But I tell you what I want you to do, amen, as you get together, he says in Exodus chapter 12 and verse 7, he says, and they shall take, amen, the blood, and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door post of the house. And wherein shall thy eat it? Uh, he said, I want you to know that when they do it, uh, I want to tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, he said, even though there's going to be judgment, uh, that's going to be executed. Uh, and this night all the firstborn uh, in the land of Egypt, uh, a man and beast, uh, are going to be destroyed. He says, I am the Lord, and I tell you what I'm going to do. Well, what are you going to do? He tells us in the 12th verse, or the 13th verse, what's going to happen. He said, and the Lord and the blood shall be under you for a token upon the house where you are. He said, and I want to tell you, when I see the blood, I will pass over, and the plague shall not come upon you to destroy you. I've got news for you. I know that we laughed at it when we were coming up. We sort of joked at it and made fun at the old saints when they used to say the blood. They used to say, I plead the blood. They used to say, Lord, cover them in the blood. Amen. But one thing about it, they got a song out that said the blood still works. I'm so glad that when he sees the blood, he'll pass over. Amen. There's some things that ADT can't keep out. There's some things that other alarm systems can't keep away from you. There's some things even a bulletproof vest can't keep certain bullets away according to the angle. But aren't you glad that when he covers you in the blood, he says, when I see the blood, I'll pass over you. When I see the blood, I'll watch over you. And I don't know how y'all feel, but I'm glad for the blood. I'm glad for the blood, the blood of Jesus. And I've come to tell you that God's going to do it. Amen. In this season, we plead, we plead the blood. In this season, we plead the blood over your house. We plead the blood over your family. We plead the blood over your life. We plead the blood over your children. We plead the blood over your grandchildren. We plead the blood over your nieces. We plead the blood over your nephews. We plead the blood tonight. We plead the blood. Lord, protect us. Lord, watch over us. Lord, burn it away. We turn away death. We turn away danger. We turn away disaster. We turn it away in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for covering us. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you. We thank you. The blood prevails. The blood, y'all help me preach. I said the blood prevails tonight. 
Yes, sir. The blood prevails. Touch somebody and tell them, neighbor, the blood prevails. Tell them when he sees the blood, he's going to pass over. Tell them God will protect you. Tell them God will watch over you. Tell them God will, he'll keep you. God will, he'll stay the hand of death. God will, he'll do it. Yes, yes, yes. I'm through tonight, he said, when I see the blood, I'll pass over. Look at somebody and tell them I'm glad for the blood. Tell them I'm glad God will watch over us. Yes, yes. I'm through tonight, but let me tell you this. I've shared it with you before, and I believe it's worth sharing again. Years ago, a man, a young man, went off to the wall. And he was going there, but he had a praying mother that was praying for him. He got drafted in the war, and he went over in the combat. But before he left, his mother gave him a little bitty Bible that was an Old Testament Bible. She gave him the Bible and said, take this with your son, and I'm praying for you. He got over there. Amen. He really wasn't a believer. He didn't really believe like his mother did. But while they were there, in the midst of combat. Amen. His unit got a man ambushed. Amen. And they found themselves under heavy attack and gunfire. Amen. And out when it was over. Amen. When he got up, he began to call out to his buddies in the unit. He called out to the sergeant. He heard no response. He called out, amen, to the other men. He heard no response and he was wondering what in the world's going on when he looked everybody amen had been shot and killed and he was trying to figure out why am I still here but when he looked down sister Mac Daniels when he looked down amen he saw a big hole right there over his heart he reached in he stopped feeling. He reached in and he pulled out. When he pulled out, amen, there was that Bible that his mother gave him. There was that little Bible of the Old Testament that his mother gave him. And when he opened it up, he found the hole. A hole was in the Bible. When he opened it up to see what happened, the bullet had stopped on some. 91. When he opened it up, the bullet had stopped on Psalms 91. When he opened it up there, it stopped on the seventh verse. A thousand shall fall at thy side. Ten thousand at your right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. How many know he will perform his word? He will Watch over us. He will move for us. Yes, he will. Lift your hand and say, Lord, thank you for watching out for me. Thank you for looking out for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. 